three Facebook strategies to sell more cars as a car salesman. Check it out. What's going on guys? My name is Corey. I'm currently a car salesman. And I decided to make this video because I've had some pretty good success in the industry. And I would say my strategies as far as how I've been able to accomplish what I've been able to accomplish in the industry is much different than most other people, right? For example, I would like to consider myself a one man show. Most people that I see doing the type of numbers that I've been able to put up normally have a team around them, either have a team of assistants or a team of brokers. For the most part, I've been able to do this primarily myself alone without any team, basically without much assistance, right? And the reason for that is because my strategies for attracting customers are much different. I primarily focus on using social media. You might be wondering what I got in my hand over here. I have my pay stubs from 2021 when I first got into the industry, which is my first full year, and then currently one right now, so you can kind of just get an idea of what I've been, you know, doing. So obviously I blocked out the address and my middle name. My first name is actually Franz Corey, but as you can see, this is, I don't know if you all can see it, hopefully you can. As you can see, this is for the full year of 2021 made around $151,000, okay? At 20, by the way. Now, I could have made a lot more, but the last, I'll say, two and a half months of the year, I didn't even really sell any cars. I was focused on something else. And this is current right now. This is eight months in, so the pay period started from the beginning of the year, and the ending pay period is the last date in August. And from that time frame, I've already put $180,000 on the year to date. Right, and like I said, a lot of you might be seeing this and saying that's not that impressive. Maybe you sell cars, you probably are doing better yourself. The reason why I think the strategies that I wanna teach you in this video are unique for me is because the way I've been able to accomplish this is much different than what I normally see the other people that are putting similar numbers like this been able to get it. Maybe they are, you know, a house mouse they call it, right? Maybe the dealership is giving them a lot of leads. Maybe you're in the internet department, you know, maybe you got a team of brokers supplying you. However, most of these other people get it doing similar numbers. My strategy is much different. If you look through my Instagram, which you all be able to see I have two now, and if you look through my car page, it's filled with a bunch of videos and a bunch of things, right? With previous customers and stuff like that. So, hey guys, so a lot of you may be interested in figuring out how you can sell more cars or just make more money in general. Listen, DM me the word sold on Instagram at real Corey Brunette. Once again, DM me the word sold on Instagram at real Corey Brunette. I'm looking forward to helping you out, see if I can share some nuggets with you. More importantly, looking forward to meeting you. Let's get back to the video. That's enough of me rambling. Just wanted to give you a little background on myself. But yeah, three strategies to sell more cars, three Facebook strategies to sell more cars as a car salesman. Let's do it. Now, the first strategy is the most obvious one and really one of the easier ones to do, okay? It would be Facebook Marketplace. Now, number three on this list is my personal favorite, but it also is the most difficult one, but stay tuned. So number one is gonna be Facebook Marketplace. So I'm actually gonna take you into my computer Computer. That way I can kind of show you how to use it and kind of exactly what to do and how to post and make sure you get good results with it. All right, let's do it. So first things first, you'd come in, you'd find a nice vehicle that you'd like to take pictures of to put on Facebook so that way you can start getting some leads for it, right? Me personally, I like trucks. Why? There's always people in the market for a truck, right? Trucks, you can make pretty good money on them. You can make good gross on trucks. And here in Florida, I mean, we always got some nice trucks with good eyes that I think would make for great listings on Facebook. So me personally, I like to post a lot of trucks. You, you can post cars, a cool car if you have it. All right, so guys, so checking out Facebook Marketplace, you're gonna wanna get into Facebook. You're gonna wanna come to the third option over here on the left-hand side, click Marketplace. Right now with Marketplace, obviously we're selling vehicles. You'd come here, you'd click create a listing, you'd click vehicle for sale. You choose the type of vehicle it is. In this case, it's gonna be a car or truck. I'm just gonna upload any, any image location. We'll just leave it at Miami. Say it's a 2021 Toyota Tacoma. Hell of a deal right there. All right, exterior, interior, blue, black. Vehicle condition very good. Fuel type gasoline. Transmission automatic. Okay, so so let's see if I can find a good example of a listing with a good description, so you can kind of get an idea of what your description should look like in order to you know get people's attention, have them stop scrolling, all that good stuff. So take a look at this truck over here. So this is actually a great example 
of what your picture should even look like as well, right? So this is basically exactly how I'll take my pictures. And I'm gonna show you some images of some pictures that I've recently taken for a truck that we recently took in. This is basically the type of angles that I would use in order to, you know, get people's attention and make sure that once they see your listing, you can kind of make them stop, right? So take a look at this guy's description. So his is in a mix, is in both Spanish and English, but you wanna just pick up on the English things that he put in here, right? So first things first, he put his contact phone number. Obviously you want people to know how they can get in contact with you, how they can reach out to you. Second thing, he got his name. He let you know a little bit about, you know, the languages that he speaks. You know, car showings are available any day of the week at any time. So he's just kind of letting you know how they do business. Then he has, you know, he's kind of, he starts to hype up the car over here at the bottom, right? So excellent car, clean title, navigation, backup camera, everything works perfectly. The list goes on. Any doubt, just call me, financing available. So he kind of starts to sell the vehicle, lets them know that it's a perfectly running vehicle, hypes it up. That way people can actually draw interest into it, combining that with some nice photos and definitely has a winner here. So that's Facebook Marketplace. Let's just keep going. The vehicle has a clean title. You definitely want to make sure you check this box off if your vehicle has a clean title, because if it doesn't, then more than likely, most people are just going to look past it because it's going to have a rebuild title unless they're looking specifically for a rebuild. I'll just put anything because I just showed you an example of what a good description should look like. Click next. Before you click publish and everything goes live, you're gonna have the option over here to actually be able to also share this listing into other groups that you may have joined or groups that you can join. So over here, you see it has the marketplace for my local area. So it has Sunshine Plantation Marketplace. If I was to join this group, I'd be able to also post this listing into this group, which is big, right? Because groups have, look at this, this group has 46,000 members in it, right? Now, obviously all 46 aren't active, right? But even if a thousand are just active, just a thousand, if a thousand people see your listing, your chances of selling increases by a thousand percent. Does that make sense? So everyone knows this is just a numbers game. Sales is all just a numbers game, right? The more people you talk to, the more opportunities you get, the more opportunities you get, the more sales you get, the more sales you get, the more money you make. It's very simple. So you want to obviously be within reach of as many people as possible. And that's exactly basically the purpose of this strategy is to try to have you as the sales guy be in front of as many people as possible. That way you can expand your reach and more people know what you do and know where to find you. So you just click publish. This whole entire process should take no longer than just 10 minutes. You can find a truck or a vehicle that you, that's on your lot that you think would make a good post, would get good results and have good eyeballs. Take some nice pictures, post it on Facebook. All that should take you 10 minutes if you work efficiently. You can do this three, four times a week. You can do this every day of the week. And I guarantee you after about, I'll say a week or two, you're going to start seeing the results start coming from this exact strategy here. All right. So number two on this list is actually my second favorite one being number two. Okay. Now this one is going to take a little bit of more work, but it definitely is a very effective strategy. And I'm going to show you how I used it for myself to personally get results that I'm currently still getting today. So check it out. Number two is going to be Facebook groups. Okay. So I'm getting my computer again. I'm gonna show you exactly how to be effective using this Facebook group strategy. Let's go. All right. So check this out. Now we're in the Facebook groups, right? And with Facebook groups, it's very easy. You come over here, you click groups. Now, as you can see me personally, like I told you all, I work at a Toyota dealership, right? So as you can see, all the groups that I'm currently in are all Toyota related, right? So whether it's the vehicle, whether it's the brand itself, it's all Toyota related. Now, why am I in so many groups? Well, groups have tons of people in them. Imagine you sell Ford and there's a group out there on Facebook with 100,000 people that are interested in Ford and you sell what they're interested in. Wouldn't you want to be within that vicinity? Wouldn't you want to be there? Wouldn't you want to be in that group? Of course you would because especially if that group allows you to make posts that allow you to sell in that group, you can imagine how much reach and how much traffic you're gonna be able to generate for yourself with this exact strategy. So let me show you exactly how I use it. So take a look at this group. I made a post in this group just a little over a month ago, right? So it's October 11th, this is September 14th, right? I made a post in this group. And if you look, the description goes, hey, everyone just landed in with the little, you know, plain emoji, kind of just playing off the word landed. Got some alarms over here, letting people know, you know, trying to get people's attention, deal alert in all caps, then just the description of the vehicle. And then I put MSRP, and then I like to put negotiable in store. Now, a lot of people might say this is sleazy. Listen, once again, this is a numbers game, right? If you know anything about TRD pros, if you sell Toyota, you know, anything TRD Pro normally goes over sticker. 
is very rare that, at least in Florida, maybe I'm wrong in other places, but at least in Florida, Tacoma, TRD Pro, Tundra, whatever, Forerunner, normally they're going over sticker. I put the MSRP and I put negotiable in store. You don't want to put a markup over here. You're just going to draw people away. I might be able to get you very close to MSRP. So why would I lose a deal over a few hundred or a thousand bucks? Because I put a markup price on it. It wouldn't make sense. All right. So next thing I do, I put my name located, you know, where I'm located. All right. So I kind of hype up my dealership a little bit. You know, number one Toyota dealer in the Southeast region. I have my contact information at the bottom, right? So text or call me personally at this number. Oh, by the way, these are like the pictures that I took of the truck, right? So as you can see, I got the angle photos inside the truck, right? Basically just taking pictures around the truck, trying to make them look nice. So that way people can see it. Now, the way I use this strategy is, especially if you work at a franchise dealer, right? So meaning Toyota, Honda, Nissan, Ford, whatever. If you work at a franchise dealership, this strategy can be very, very effective for you selling new cars, right? So if I see something that I know people, you know, go crazy over, like, like I said, if you sell Toyotas, you know, it's like maybe a GR86, maybe a Sequoia, something like that, right? And I know people are always interested in it. what I'll do is I go in and I'll take a picture of it. I'd look for a group on Facebook that's related around that specific vehicle. And if that group allows you to make posts selling something, what I do is, and I'm going to go and do exactly this. I'm going to go and list it, put my information on there, let people know how to reach out to me. And you'd be surprised. I actually, the first time I ever, 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 ever posted a car in a Facebook group, I actually had a customer reach out to me like an hour later pulled up to the dealership like two hours later, finalized the deal the next day. So when I seen that, I'm like, wow, this is either beginner's luck or this is something that truly works. And I can tell you it's a little bit of both, but it definitely works. Okay. So one thing to look out for last thing before we move on to the next, when you're joining these groups, I just, let me show you an example. When you're joining these groups, you want to make sure that the group, you know, allows you to make posts selling things, right? So if you look at over here, this group has rules. No TikTok content will be approved. I mean, that's just other things, but most of the time they have a rule that says no promotions or you can't sell anything, right? If you see that, don't even waste your time. Move on to the next group. You're probably, you're just going to end up getting kicked out, reported. Don't waste your time. So find one that allows that, you know, that doesn't have that in their rules and you'd be able to make the post freely. They won't kick you out. People would actually engage with the content that you make and you'll be good. All right. And number three on this list is personally my favorite is definitely the most profitable, best results. I've been doing it for at least three years now, three, four years, getting good results with it. All right. Number three is you probably guessed it. Facebook ads. Okay. Facebook ads. Once again, let's get in my computer. I'm going to show you exactly how to be effective using the Facebook ad strategy, how to set it up and make sure you get good results using it. All right, let's do it. The last strategy is Facebook ads, right? Which is my favorite, 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 best strategy over here. Most effective for me at least. All right, guys. So this is a behind the scenes of my Facebook ad account, right? Now I'm going to take you in. Now, a lot of you, if you're new, you're probably looking at this and saying, what the heck is this? It looks very foreign. Listen, I'm making videos in the future, kind of going more in detail over this, how to set things up, going over basically everything, helping you understand exactly what you're looking at. So let's take a look at one of the only active campaign I currently have running, which I only have one right now at the moment. So take a look at this. Now I have this ad running. Right, it's been running for 11 days from the beginning of the month. It's a messaging campaign. And at the end over here in the ad section, you're gonna be able to see the, the video that I'm running and text that I'm using and everything. So it's a messaging campaign, meaning when people see the ad, they have the option to send me a direct message, whether it's on Facebook or Instagram. Over here, you kind of see what type of campaign it is. It's an engagement campaign, categories, it's using credit. Why? Because you want to always click off this box when setting up an ad, especially when you're trying to sell a car is because it's ads for credit card offers, all loans. If you don't set this up, they're not even going to approve the ad. If you don't click this button, they won't approve it. Let's look into the, the targeting that I'm using. Messaging apps, click the message is the ad type. My Facebook page connected. And then you have the messenger and the Instagram DMs is where people would basically be sending messages to. I have a lifetime budget of 750 for this ad, which is for the entire month. That might sound like a lot to some of you, but trust me, if you're spending $750 and you make five, $10,000 back, it ain't a lot at all. All right. And it's definitely predictable. I've been getting results like this for three, four years already. So it works for sure. I'm targeting the location is just basically the radius around my dealership's address. 
address, 20 mile radius around my dealership's address. No language is targeted. My detail targeting is basically just people that have interest in these car related type of topics. I'm trying to be as specific with my targeting as possible. That way I can get the best results as possible. Now I'm kind of running through everything pretty quickly, but like I said, I'll be making videos in the future, just showing you, you know, giving you more details and explaining exactly how to set things up and what's what, all that good stuff. So check this out. So I'm running a video campaign, video ad, I should say. This is the description I'm currently using. The headline is your neighborhood car guy. The call to action is for them to send me a message. Like I said, take a look at this video. So this is the video that I'm running right now. What's going on everyone? It's Corey, the neighborhood car guy here at Toyota of Hollywood. Listen, if you're currently employed and get pay stubs and need a car, contact me right now. Good credit, bad credit, no credit. These are some of the easiest deals to get done with pay stubs. Remember, as low as $500 to $1,000 down can get you in the car. You get up to 90 days before you make your first payment. If you'd like for me to help you get your next car, you have two options. You can either visit my website and book an appointment with me directly, or you can shoot me a DM and I'll take care of the rest. Corey's got the car for you. Book now. Yeah, so that's the video I'm currently running, right? As you can see, it's edited pretty nicely. I have plenty of videos just like this. If you go on my Instagram, you scroll down, you'll see tons of videos similar to this. I'm only running this one ad currently because I have my website currently being remodeled, I should say, and repurposed as that is currently being done in the background. I'm using this ad to just generate message leads, which can be a bit more time consuming because you have to sit there and text them back, try to set appointments over text and get them in. But if you have them being submitting their information straight on your website, then you can just get their information contact them you know at a time that's convenient for you give them a call whatever that's currently what I got going on this exact type of strategy has gotten me crazy crazy results you know a bunch of people now basically know me I started off as a nobody at 19 in the industry and after one year of running ads on Facebook I used to go places locally and people would recognize me and like oh you're the car guy you're the guy from Instagram because of paid marketing Facebook ads Instagram ads whatever all right so these strategies definitely work this is by far my favorite strategy strategy because it's the most effective it's the most efficient and it gets the best results so why not but yeah that's about it for facebook ads so every single strategy on this list definitely is very important they're all effective if you put in the effort and you put in the time every single one of these should be able to get your results i currently use all three of them currently right now still selling like i said number three is personally my favorite that's something that i've been rocking with i'm pretty good at it you know getting good results getting a bunch of customers to contact me that's how a lot of the people that you see on my instagram have actually found me a true paid advertising which is on facebook okay once again if you found this video to be helpful drop a like and a comment I'm glad you made it to the end of the video i got two options for you you can either watch the next video or you can dm me the word sold on instagram at real Corey brunette if you're ready to take your car sales career to the next level i'm looking forward to helping you out more importantly looking forward to meeting you i'll catch you all in the next one have a blessed day